Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I don't know, cross Jupiter. and you're just here to chill. I'm an Aquarius, Sun, and Moon, so I'm real excited for this reading. Let's see what's coming up for us, us aquas, us aliens, right? <sighs> I'm Alex, if you don't know who I am, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. Let's get into it. This is your June 2023 bonus reading in addition to your June 2023 love reading. And this is just whatever comes out. So maybe it's love, maybe it's money, maybe it's, I don't know. Who knows? Okay, what do you want the aquas to know, spirit? Bro, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. Okay. Sorry. We have three eights here, eight, 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 which is kind of nuts. They're telling, they're telling you guys to slow down. I guess I should say us, right? <laughs> they're telling us to slow down a little bit. We have the 10 of cups reversed in the Hierophant. There needs to be a perception shift on family dynamics or relationships. I want to say relationships because the Hierophant can also be not just wisdom, but commitment. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed with the Eight of Wands reversed. So there needs to be a slowdown in something. I don't, if some of you guys are like hustling super hard, it's time to like really stop stretching yourself so thin. Overall, we have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords reversed. So coming out of depression and anxiety, but the mental entrapment is still there. Like it's getting like the, or the mental health is getting better, but it's not exactly the best yet. What do you, what do you want the Aquas to slow down? What do you want them? What do you want the aquas to slow down on? Oh my god, that is so much fire energy. Some of you guys have really spread yourself very, very thin. I want to say this is for work. I know I just said relationships, but like, I guess it could be both. You know what? You know what it is? You guys are spreading yourself thin and it's affecting your work and relationships. So I think you're giving too much to your relationships. You're giving too much work. You're losing balance and you're getting depleted. We have the strength reversed here, which is feeling depleted, Leo energy. Ace of Wands reversed, which is feeling not feeling creative and not feeling the passion for anything anymore. We have the Knight of Wands reversed, not having a lot of fun, and the Five of Wands. There's too much going on. You're giving to too many things at once. Way too many things going on here, Aquas. Overall, we have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups reversed. This is ending soon. This like spreading yourself too thin. This is ending soon. I don't think that you are spreading yourself too thin by choice. Like you definitely could have taken control, but I think that you were kind of pushed into it for a reason. comes after this since it's ending soon. What in the world is this? Dude, everyone's getting the craziest readings today. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles reversed and the Hierophant reversed. Sorry, not the Hierophant. Uh, the Magician, sorry. <laughs> We do have the Hierophant reversed over here, so. 
there's someone in your life that's uh, a little bit manipulative. Not a little bit, a lot. I want to say a lot. I feel like you're giving to someone. I want to say some of you are giving money to someone. So maybe someone owes you money. Some of you are over giving whatever your resources are to people. I think it's someone in particular. We do have Gemini energy here. Some of you are over giving to one person in particular. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to stick with that. King of Pentacles tells me in the reverse tells me that it's either like a father figure or it's like a partner. It's a masculine, it's a very important masculine energy in your life. And gender doesn't matter. So whatever that looks like for you. Because, you know, maybe the maybe your mom is the head of your family or something, you know, I don't know. And then we have the seven of wands. You feel very defensive with this person now. Or you feel like you need to set boundaries with this person now. And that's definitely emphasized with the eight of pentacles here. I feel like you're at this point where you're protecting your money. You're protecting your abundance or you want to protect it. I feel like the Hierophant reversed is here because that's like commitment reversed. I'm going to go out and I'm going to say something wild. This is only going to be for some of you. Um, for those of you that are like in like a marriage or something, I feel like you're scared to leave because you don't want your resources to be taken away. So that's only going to be for some of you. Uh, for those of you that are just like in a regular relationship, I feel like you're afraid to leave or break this commitment because you're, you feel like you're going to lose something that you've worked for. But the thing is, is like the longer you stay in this connection, they're just going to take it from you anyway. So overall, we have the Two of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Cups. Two of Pentacles reversed to me is a cheating card. It's like when you can't balance multiple people at once, or you're having a hard time balancing multiple people, people at once, or you are balancing multiple people at once. I don't think that you know this, but I think that... I'm not saying that your person is cheating, but they're definitely giving their resources more to someone else or another situation. So maybe they're spending too much time at work. Or maybe they're, you know, I don't know. They're just not, at the very least, they're not prioritizing you. So like, let's start there. They're giving their... Right, that's a cup of love being held. They're giving their cup of love or energy to some something else. Not just you. And so while you're giving and giving and giving and giving, you're like, why am I giving so much? Why am I giving so much? It's because this person is not only giving what they have to another situation, but they're also giving some of what you give to another situation. And so that's why you feel so depleted. Take what you, take, take what you need to take from that. Um, okay. What is the outcome of this situation? I'm not in a relationship, so I don't know what this is. What did I say? What's the outcome? I don't remember. For those of you that are in connections, you will find out about like whatever this third party situation is. And yes, I have a third party card here. So uh, again, this person could just be giving a lot to work I like it's going to be very unique for whatever your situation is overall we have the three of cups and or three of cups reverse which is third party and the chariot this is heavy cancer energy the chariot is cancer so could be dealing with the cancer we also have scorpio here with the death card and the hangman which i believe is pisces so pisces scorpio cancer oh water jesus <laughs> i always think that the hangman is virgo i don't know why that could be significant for some of you. Anyway, maybe Virgo season is important to you. So what is that? Like September, October? I don't know. Um, I think it's September. Is it August? Late August? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I'll shut up. Anyway, so we have the hangman and then we have the death card reverse. 
So there needs to be a new perspective on this situation. And then the death card is someone who doesn't want to change. Then we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> when you find out about this third party situation or when you like at least acknowledge it, because maybe you're already aware of it. When you acknowledge it, you're going to get all the apologies and you're going to get all the promises. Because the Page of Pentacles is like a small offer. I'll pay you back. Um, right, because we were talking about money before. I'll pay you back. I'll give you back all of those things that, you know, you gave me. Um, Knight of Cups is a love offer as well. So I, I'm, I'm really getting apology from this. Um, this is still happening though. This is still happening. The third party energy is still freaking happening. Anything else you want Aquarius to know? Dude, I don't relate to this reading at all. I'm sad. I mean, I'm sad. I mean, no, I'm happy I don't relate to this reading, but I wish there was a message in there for the singles ready to mingles, Pringles, you know? Anyway, <laughs> we have the full reverse, which is Aquarius energy. Now we have the moon reversed which is secrets being revealed. This is also, sorry, this is not wanting to take risks, not wanting to take a leap of faith, being stuck in the past can also be a return. And then we have the queen of swords reversed, feeling bitchy and defensive. Overall, we have the emperor and the knight of wands reversed. This is very interesting. I think that your person is masking as the emperor, but when in reality, they're the knight of wands reversed. That's someone who's in and out. That's Mr. Hit It and Quit It. I'm gonna I'm say it, Aquarius. I, I think you're being played. I don't know who, which Aquarius this is for, but I think you're being real fucking played. I think you're being played. And you're being depleted in the process. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I, you're gonna... Obviously, you're going to find out, like, specifics to the situation with the moon reversed here. But, like, I be very careful about being in Queen of Swords reversed energy because this person has already taken a lot from you. Is it really worth bickering and arguing over? I mean, I feel like you've already done that enough. They've already taken so much from you. Are they gonna take your sanity too? I don't know. Aries, Aquarius, Pisces here. Yeah, Aquas, that's what I have for you. Um, ooh, I just got a headache. Ooh. Anyway, I'm sorry that wasn't the happiest of readings, Aquas, but obviously somebody needed to hear it. So um, I love you guys so much. Make sure to check out your June 2023 love reading to just get more information on what the fuck is going on. Uh, come join the Discord. Uh, subscribe so that you're notified. Did I already say that? I don't know. Anything else? I don't know. Hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!